why they love them, but they do. Tony Avent's love of plants started young. Uh, I've been gardening since I was five. His love just kept growing, eventually leading him to open the Juniper Level Botanic Gardens just south of Raleigh. Yeah, we started out with two acres. We're now up to 28 acres. 37 years later, his garden offers something you won't see anywhere else. 27,000 different types of plants from just about everywhere. Or they're plants that are going extinct all around the world. So we decided to travel worldwide, bring back the plants, trial them. And then we wanted to show people how they can use them in their garden and how their gardens can be so much more than most gardens are. They only open to the public four times a year, once a season. Winter has a special place in Tony's heart. And that's why we want to bring, bring people out when the garden is absolutely at its worst. The perennials haven't come up and show them, yes, you can have this beautiful garden even in the dead of winter. Plenty of plants in bloom despite the season. Ten-year-old Anwen came out with her family to celebrate her father's birthday. It's really nice. I like seeing all the plants, all the trees. I wonder what they would look like in winter and summer. On top of showing the community something they don't normally get to see, Tony's also hoping to inspire gardeners when they visit. We want people to not look at gardens as things that are work. So many people, they garden with a pair of head shears and a sprayer strapped on their back. That's not fun. We want to say there is a better way, and that's what we show people when they come out. And as for Tony's favorite, the tens of thousands of plants. I'm like a politician asking them what their favorite constituent is. It's the <laughs> one I'm standing in front of that moment. Everyone has something great about it, and so, no, there's no way to ever pick just one. And if you missed it this time around, your next chance to see the garden is in the spring. Everything you need to know is on our website, abc11.com. In Wake County, I'm Sydney Schofield, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.